Wendell Barthouse, Big 12 Digital Network here with Curtis Shaw, the uh, coordinator of men's basketball officials for the Big 12. We're here in Duncanville, Texas at the Great American Shootout, one of several evaluation uh, tournaments that go on. This is an evaluation period for college coaches to take a look at high school players. But Curtis, it's also a time of year when you guys do a lot of evaluating of uh, up and coming officials. Talk to us a little bit about that. Absolutely. It's a great time for us to take our youngest officials that already work in Division I basketball and help them in this kind of talent laden game and help them advance their game. We also have a lot of officials here that currently work small college basketball trying to work their way up. So it gives us an opportunity in a three day period to spend four or five hours in the classroom with them then allow them to work six, seven basketball games in a two and a half days, and we spend another couple of hours with them every night reviewing the day. So we can really get an intense session of training in that's hard to do during the season. Well, last year in college basketball, there were two big emphases as far as uh, uh, the officiating the rules, the rough play and the charge block call. Where are we at as far as going into the 2014-2015 season as far as those two points of emphasis? I think we made great strides on the perimeter play. The perimeter play was really well accepted. Our scoring was up five points a game. It wasn't from free throws. It was just from the, the ability for the offensive to play. The block charge truly didn't work. The way it was written was, was hard to interpret. It was hard to teach the defensive players what they could and couldn't do, and the referees had trouble picking it up. So we're actually going to go back to an old interpretation a little bit. It's now going to be that a player, once he goes air horn, a defender can't move. It'll be a lot easier to referee, a lot easier to teach, and I think it'll help the game. I wanted you to talk a little bit about the Big 12's emphasis in men's basketball officiating as far as improvement of officiating, evaluation, and kind of the transparency that you guys shoot for. You know, I just finished my fourth year in this job, and it's been amazing the support we've had. From, from day one, the coaches, the administrators, our athletic directors, have fully supported everything we did. We wanted to develop a sense of accountability. We wanted to develop a sense of clarity uh, that everyone knew what we were doing, we were responsible for it, and how we handled our program. And that goes all the way to Commissioner Bowlesby now with John Underwood in basketball and everything that they support and allow us to do, such as these type of events, which helps our program be one of the tops in the nation. In the last few years, we've had more officials in the NCAA tournament more officials advance to the regionals and Final Four than anyone else. And I think that's a direct result of what this conference tries to do in the sport of basketball. That's Curtis Shaw for the Big 12 Digital Network. I'm Wendell Barnhouse.